everyone good morning it is day two on serenade of the seas and we are getting ready to go we are waiting on our breakfast room service um, for the morning because we decided that it would probably be a better idea for us to have breakfast in our room than get up super early because uh, we don't port uh, like the gangway doesn't drop until 12 30 today so we have plenty of time to relax in the room and everything so it is at about 10 o'clock right now and like i said we're waiting for our room service i don't think we have a specific idea on what we want to do for key west i know allison she is over here um in the corner over here um i know she <laughs> she said she wants to touch the southernmost point um and then that's pretty much it and i think our friends have the same idea because we are going to get off the ship and go with them um so we will show you what we choose to do while we're in key west and i believe our itinerary for today is giovanni's for dinner um so that's exciting i am looking very forward to it um but i don't really think we have anything planned besides that i know that there are some trivia that we might want to do um but other than that uh it's the world is our oyster we can choose what we want to do and we are very excited so we're gonna go get ready and we will see you when we get room service all right so our room service just arrived so we've got some donuts and then my wheat toast here they wrapped it in a nice little towel all of our condiments i requested fresh flakes because i want to have them for a snack later and i knew they would come in a box and then we've got pancakes those are for allison um this is my omelet and allison's omelet you got my bacon so we've got a nice little array of breakfast and um, so we're gonna have breakfast and get ready for our key west day all right so mom wanted us to decorate our door and we didn't show you this on our last cruise because <gasps> We didn't show you decorating the door on our last cruise because all the footage got corrupted. So uh, let's go decorate our cruise door. I'm not going to use all of these, I think. I think I'm going to use just a few. Maybe these ones. Oh. Okay. All right, I think that's good. Once we got off the ship, we made our way toward the southernmost point thanks to one of our friends' GPS and tracking and also the crowd of people all headed toward the same direction. definitely reminded me uh, more of St. Augustine if you've ever been there with uh, older buildings and historic museums just like this one that we passed by. honest I have no idea why this historical monument was there but it was very interesting and nonetheless About halfway down our trek to the southernmost point, we pass a ton of local shops and small businesses and decided to stop at this Key Lime store since, you know, Key West, Key Lime Pie is very popular there. Everything in this store had some sort of Key Lime heavy ingredient, even the dog treats.
finally made it to South Beach Pier and took in the amazing ocean view before making our way to the buoy, which also had an amazing view and a very long line to take a photo. Unfortunately, Allison and I got sunburnt a little too much and it was a little hot, so we parted ways with our friends for a little bit and headed back onto the ship. Allison went to change clothes and kind of relax for a second while I decided to go straight to lunch at Windjammer. Hey guys, so Megan is grabbing some food at Windjammer, but wanted to show you our towel animal that we got. It's really cute. I feel like it's a... Not quite sure what it is, but yeah. All right, so we are currently in the Safari Club Lounge at the wake of the ship, just admiring the view. Um, and we are about to go to the pool. I had a delicious lunch at Windjammer and Allison wasn't really feeling lunch. Um, so she hung out in the room and I am very excited to get in the pool. This is something that we haven't done yet on this ship and the solarium is covered, which is really exciting. So that is probably where we're gonna be hanging out quite often today. Um, so you will see us later. See you at the pool. just like a strawberry smoothie but it's so good it's delicious and I really like it after I'm done with this I'm gonna try a virgin pina colada because I love pina coladas but I want to try another one so we will see how that goes I don't know what that was but that was loud as heck Allison on the other hand is Um, what are you doing? I don't want to burn. <laughs> oh my gosh. She has four towels. And she looks like a silly goof. We're having a great time. I am really enjoying this cruise a lot. And I am so excited for Cha uh, for Giovanni's tonight. Like, I'm so excited. Um, I'm probably gonna get another one of these, or a few of these, because they're non-alcoholic, so I can have whatever I want. I'm probably not gonna get anything alcoholic on this cruise because I just don't really feel like it. I just feel like having, you know, mocktails. So if you guys know any cool mocktails, let me know so I can try some more. Because uh, right now I have the daiquiri and the pina colada so let me know we are back in the room now um i don't know why i'm doing this on the gopro but whatever i got a virgin pina colada and y'all let me just tell you something i 
I love pina coladas. This is my favorite drink, and this tastes exactly like a pina colada. But yes, we are going to go take a nap until dinner at Giovanni's tonight. All right, we'll see you when we wake up from our nap. All right, everyone, we just got finished with our nap probably about 30 minutes ago, and we are now ready to go. Allison is over here, um, and we are going to head into Giovanni's for uh, dinner. I almost said lunch. And then we're going to figure out what we want to do. I know that a thought of us watching the Super Mario Brothers movie and the cinema has been brought up. We might also do trivia. We might hang out by the pool. I know eventually we're going to go up onto deck 12 and take pictures. But right now we're going to go ahead into Giovanni's for dinner. So we'll see you there. Dinner at Giovanni's was delicious. Same thing, same menu as our other chefs. And the pasta was delicious. However, I think the main star of the show for me was the wild mushroom risotto. We started off with bread service and appetizers. Allison got the calamari. Myself and one of our friends got the eggplant parmigiana and our other friend chose to get the beef carpaccio. They also wanted to try the meat and cheese board, so they decided to split it with us. For our main course, Allison chose the filet mignon and a half side of pasta bolognese, and that is not a surprise, she loves filet mignon. <laughs> While I went with the chicken piccata and both a half side of gnocchi gorgonzo and the wild mushroom risotto because I love it and it was delicious on our last cruise so I had to try it again. Our friends had the bronzino and garlicky herb prawns. Before moving on to our next event of the night, we decided to go to our favorite hangout spot, which was where the wake of the ship is, and also coincidentally where the next event was. And we just enjoyed the sunset, loved the waves, and chit-chatted. It was very nice. All right, so after a delicious dinner at Giovanni's, we are now in one of the lounges. We're getting ready for a silent dance party. They gave us headphones and just explained how to do it. And Allison is living. I am not going to dance, um, but Allison is with our friend that she is with. And I am so excited <laughs> to see her make a fool of herself. I am so excited about this. What's happening? Why can't I hear you? Hi. 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 No, no, I, I heard it. It's just. Do you remember? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. I think it's funnier when I don't know the song. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, come 
Assembly. Get in ya! All right, everyone, it is the end of day number two aboard the Serenade of the Seas. Oh my gosh, today was amazing. So we started off the day by going to the southernmost point in Key West, and we got to touch the buoy, <laughs> which was fun. It was so hot, though. Um, we walked there, and we were intending on walking back, but we unfortunately did not. Mm -hmm. It was too hot. Um, so we took an Uber <laughs> back to the ship. But I do have to say that the walk there was very nice. It yeah. was pretty easy. Um, our if friends... it was in August, I yeah. think it would have been a lot more tolerable. Our friends decided to uh, use a GPS to get us to the location as we walked, but you didn't really need one. It was pretty easy to just... It was literally straight. Yeah, it was straight. about a mile and a half there, mile and a half back. Um, so that was really fun, and then Allison and I did a little hanging out together until it was time for dinner at Giovanni's, which was delicious as always. I am very, very excited for more days of chops because that's my favorite restaurant. Allison said it before, and it, I agree with her. It's hard to compare the two, but in my opinion, I really love chops because it's just good, yummy food that I don't always have. So... That's really exciting. Um, we're going to have lunch there tomorrow because on sea days they are open for lunch. So we are Geo very. Giovanni's was good though. Like it, it was delicious. It, it was very very filling. Yes, we didn't it was. Get dessert because it was. We were so full. <laughs> I did, but I didn't get it from Giovanni's. <laughs> we hung out at the Safari Club again, like at the wake of the ship. Uh, during karaoke, we listened to that. Uh, we didn't participate because. I don't, I don't, that's not my vibe. I do not like to sing in front of people. Allison does like to do that, but she just decided not to. Um, however, we did participate. When I say we, I mean Allison and one of our friends. We did participate in the silent dance party, which is something we've always wanted to do. And Allison, since she participated, I'm going to let her take over and discuss how she felt. So the silent disco is basically they give you a set of headphones and there's no like live music playing on the speakers. So it's all through headphones. There are two channels, one's green, one's blue. You and you can flip back and forth if you want. So each play different songs uh, with different vibes. And it was really fun. It was so fun. Like I, I, I like to dance a little bit. Um, and I, it's not something that I do often, but it was so, so fun. And we, it's something I've been wanting to do on our other cruises. It's just, we're, we're early evening girlies. And I, honestly, like it was, it, it started at 1030, which was late for me. And I'm very tired right now. <laughs> I really liked it. It was, it was super fun. Yes. Um, Megan enjoyed judging me while I was dancing. Oh, uh, we had the absolute best time just listening to because when you have the headphones on you know you're singing but you don't know how loud oh my gosh you there are some people singing very loud allison included um and it was just so fun to sit and watch like how different people have fun how different people listen to music and interact with it i thought it was very very entertaining and it was a perfect way to end tonight it's so fun this is probably honestly one of the most fun days i've had on a cruise we did have a new fresh day looking into how we enjoyed our stateroom and i do have to say after sleeping in here for one night it's amazing if you like sleeping in pitch black darkness then this is the kind of room you want because oh my gosh it is awesome and to be honest like i'm i really like where we are so we're on deck two and this is where the gangway exit is so you don't have to fight going down the stairs, going up the stairs to get or the, the elevators, or the elevators, because it's right here. Um, 
I will say one word of advice. If you are, and this doesn't have anything to do with room, but if you are getting off the ship at a uh, U.S. port, make sure you bring your ID with you in addition to your sea pass card because, or your identification for the ship. Because Megan did not realize that, and she left hers in the stateroom. So Allison and had to go back yeah, in so and get it. Luckily, I brought my ID, just because I always bring my ID with me. And Megan, I, I was able to go back in and get Megan's. But if you don't bring your ID with you, that would be problematic. So always remember that if you're getting off at a U.S. port. It is past midnight. We are going to go ahead and go to bed. We will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope that it was something new that you haven't seen before because we have never done the silent disco and that was amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye!